Hi, Sarah here, Spectrum Weavers. I am going to teach you today how to curve text. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it in an external program called Inkscape. This is a free open source program. There are two trusted places to get it. The first would be a download at inkscape.org. The second would be through the Microsoft Store if you're on Windows 10. Uh, it is a free app there as well. So you can see I'm in Canvas right now. I'm going to close out of Canvas, I'll minimize it. And this is the Inkscape screen here. Okay, so bear with me here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go, do you see right here where I, on the left hand side, there's a circle. It says create circles. So click on that. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is click on your mouse and kind of stretch that out. And you're going to want to make that, you know, it, how you want your text to look. The curve that you want. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come back over here. Click off of that. Come back over here. Click on the A. That is your text button. Okay. And then click on your screen. Now I'm already on Amistary Hand. That's the text. I, that's the font I'm going to use. And I'm going to type hello. Okay. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to click uh, right up here. In your upper left hand corner there's a, there's a pointer button. That's your select button. Select that, select that, and now you're going to want to stretch this out to make it bigger. But when you do that, you're going to want to press control while you're stretching at the corner. Okay, otherwise it won't stay in proportion. Okay, if you if you press control while you're doing it, everything will stay in proportion. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to click off so that nothing is selected, and now draw a square around both objects. Okay, then you're going to go up to path and then go to, oh, I'm sorry, go to text and then go to put on path. Okay, and do you see how it put it on a path down here? So what you want to do is you want to click on it again. Okay, now if you go to the corner and you turn on the corner, it's going to look weird when you do it. I don't know why. It's some kind of error in Inkscape. Um, it happens. So then just keep pulling it. Keep pulling that around until you have it where you want it. Again, I don't know why that happens. It's just it's just an error in Inkscape. It's just something you kind of have to deal with. So that's what I want, right? So now what I need to do, I can't just delete that. If I just delete that, it'll get rid of it. It'll straighten my hello out. So what I need to do, I'm going to click off of everything. I need to click on hello. I need to go up to object. I'm sorry, go to path. And then go to object to path. Okay, click on that. And now that's fine. So now I can click on my circle. Delete my circle. Okay, and now I have this right here, right? So this is what I want to bring into Inkscape. Okay, so you're going to go to File, Save As. Okay, see right here, it's already it says Inkscape SVG. You can change it to a regular SVG. You have a drop down here if you want. Um, just I mean, you can go right here to Plain SVG. Inkscape SVG is just fine. And then just name it whatever. I'll name it Hello. Oh, Hello 1000 is already taken. Hello 1005. So save it someplace, obviously, that you'll be able to retrieve it here in a moment. And then I will pull this back up. Thanks. Sorry, lost you there for a minute. Get rid of all of this. That's from earlier. And now you're going to go to... You will go to File. Import SVG. Hello, 1005, open, and there it is. So now it's going to come through as all separate pieces, okay? So what you want to do, stretch that out and see how it's, it's all separate pieces. 
you can weld all that together when you're ready. But there you go. There is your curved text. Okay, thanks. Uh, if you subscribe to my channel, I'm going to be doing quite a few more videos on um, ways that you can use Inkscape to bridge some of the gaps, uh, design gaps that uh, Canvas has. So subscribe to my channel and we'll see you later. Have a good day. Bye.